Thinking out loud, Kevin Harvick rakes in all of the chips in Vegas. Who's in the headline? As Martin Truex Jr. did last year en route to his first championship, Kevin Harvick has a firm grip on what it takes to go fast at mile and a half tracks and is letting the rest of the garage know he has no intention of letting them come play in his sandbox. Harvick led 214 of the 267 laps on Sunday, March 4, at Las Vegas Motor Speedway to take his second straight win in 2018. Harvick won all three stages of the race and is guaranteed a spot in the playoffs, provided he attempts the other 23 races of the regular season. What happened? Harvick picked up right where he left off at Atlanta. He grabbed the lead right at the start of the race and ran away with the first stage. He also dominated the second stage, and then, after some differing pit strategies were attempted, stomped everyone into submission over the last half of the final stage. Jamie McMurray and Kurt Busch both had incidents that put them into the wall and ended their day. Unfortunately for Chase Elliott, he was outside of Busch when his incident occurred, which collected his number 9 and ended his day as well. Kyle Busch made a strong run at the end of the race when he pitted later than everyone else for his final stop but still didn't have enough to catch Harvick, so he had to settle for second place. Jimmy Johnson and Ross Chastain failed pre-race technical inspection three times each and saw their car chiefs booted from the premises. Why you should care? All we heard from Brad Keselowski in 2017 was how handicapped the Fords were and what a huge advantage the Toyotas had over the Blue Oval. The problem was that by the time the series got to Texas Motor Speedway in the playoffs, Harvick beat Truex straight up, and Keselowski's point was rendered moot. Ford is rumored to have a new car coming for 2019, but at this rate, the manufacturer's teams might be begging to keep the fusion if this domination keeps up. What your friends are talking about? Pit guns, pit guns, pit guns that was the topic all over social media while the ass whipping was being administered by Harvick to the rest of the field. The race winner actually had two different failures with his system during the event, but both occurred at a point where they didn't cost him any time on the racetrack. NASCAR chose to go with a manufacturer that was not the industry leader in impact guns to administer this program, and at least for now, that decision seems to be backfiring. The problems will certainly be ironed out eventually, you're